Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Today, we're gonna to talk about planter fertilizer, but more specifically, how to choose the correct pump for your application. Here in front of me, I've got an electric pump, a John Blue piston pump, and a hydraulic pump with a PWM. We're gonna talk through in what scenarios we use each pump for and, and why we do that. So number one, the first thing we need to ask ourselves is how much flow do we really need? Because there are times where we cannot use an electric pump simply because it cannot push enough product. There are times where we may not be able to use a, a ground drive pump because we want to use a rate controller. A hydraulic pump, we can use those in almost any application, but they do of course require hydraulics and then a rate controller to control them. So we need to decide, can the pump that I want to use push enough product? And then does the baggage that comes with that pump, meaning the rate controller, the hydraulic flow, the ground drive uh, contact wheel, uh, does that fit my operation? Am I familiar enough with that? Do I have a, a controller in the cab to run a John Deere rate controller or Raven RCM? Um, can my planner have a ground contact wheel mounted on it? These are all questions that we have to dive into. So let's jump into it. This electric pump comes in two sizes, five and seven gallons per minute. I use this a lot in Inferro, you know, in those three to five gallons. And then on smaller planners, I'll use it a lot on two by two as well. Because like I said, they're going to max out around that five gallon per minute and uh, you know we're gonna exceed that a lot of times in two by two on 12 row or larger planners. Now what I really love about these electric pumps is their ease of use. They are so simple, anyone can run them and they are extremely reliable as well. With an electric pump, I use two different types of controllers. This is what we call the Benco motor driver. Basically what you do, you simply turn it on and this controller pushes amperage to the pump you increase or decrease the amount of amperage to that pump until we match our desired pressure. Now, when we're choosing our orifices, we choose those orifices based on a pressure, say 30 PSI. So what you'll do is you'll just turn your switch on and turn this dial until this screen reads 30 PSI. At that time, we know that we are achieving our true and actual rate. So super simple, it's got a whisker switch on it. When you raise your planter, it stops. When you lower it, it turns it back on. Doesn't get any better than this, the most trouble-free system on the market. From there, we can go to an auto rate controller, something simple like this MicroTrack SprayMate Plus. It's very similar to like a Raven 440 or 450. It's got three sections up top, they're manual. Um, but again, this has got a speed sensor with it as you speed up and slow down, it will automatically control the amperage to and from that pump to dial that pump in and out to get more flow gallons per minute. So you type in your width, um, it reads your speed off of a GPS, and you put all your data in here. And again, a whisker switch comes with this one to automatically turn it on and off. So electric, super simple. Um, pretty dang reliable too, as long as you're not maxing out that pump, but a great system to have. From there, the, the most reliable would be the John Blue ground drive piston. It's so nice because all you do is set your, your pump based on this dial, you've got numbers down here, and you set that pump and you'll never touch that pump again unless you change rates. You lower the planter, the contact wheel touches your planter drive wheel or the, the lift wheel and it, it turns that pump. You put your sprocket right here, run a chain, and it doesn't get any easier than that. Setting these pumps is super easy as well. I adjust this dial right here on these numbers until my PSI on my gauge matches the PSI that I chose to run my orifices at. It's hard to beat the John Blue cast iron pistons. They're the most reliable pumps out there. Um, their customer service is great. And you can see this is actually a used pump. We rebuilt this pump. That's another thing great about this pump is that if you ever did have problems with it, they're fully rebuildable 
and I, I've seen pumps come in here that are 30 years old. Now, there's a lot of uh, precision folks pushing to get away from these piston pumps, pushing to get away from red bulbs as well. They don't like the pulsating that you might see. Um, I don't think you can actually see that through the field. There's nothing wrong with running a John Blue pump, and there is no ROI in ditching this pump and going to a much more expensive uh, option that may or may not carry an ROI. This has got some ROI. It's super reliable. If you've got one on your planner, I wouldn't be in a big rush to rip it off. Um, you, you're not gonna see uh, any loss in yield by using a John Blue pump, that's for sure, or a piston pump in general. Uh, from there, we'll move over to the hydraulic pump. Uh, this one is, is probably the more common anymore today. It, we use them on all of our side dress applicators. Now this one has got a PWM valve incorporated into it. And what that means is instead of butterflying the amount of product coming out here, we're butterflying the amount of hydraulic oil that goes to this pump. So this one is for your variable rate applications. Uh, if you're running prescriptions or you change rates a lot on the fly, this PWM valve will instantly, in fact, several times per second, will change your rate by changing the amount of flow. So if you're speeding up and slowing down a lot or you're changing rates a lot, I would go with a hydraulic pump with a PWM valve. Now, what baggage comes with this? Well, with this one, you're gonna have to, to purchase a lot more expensive items such as section valves, rate controllers, flow meters, on-off valves. Um, you're gonna have to have the hydraulics from the tractor supplied to it. We're already kind of maxing out the planners with that, so that's another thing to watch. But when you get that system set up, it's pretty dang nice. You can uh, have the planner lifted in the air, run through different tests, and uh, it's just as accurate as, as all the others. Now, I wanna talk about accuracy. When it comes to accuracy, none of these pumps is any more accurate than the other. They are all gonna be as accurate as you set them to be. I can get this electric pump to be just as accurate as this PWM hydraulic, and same thing with this ground drive pump. They are all just as accurate. I would find out which one matches you. Maybe uh, an older gentleman runs the planner and he wants a simple turn dial Benko. That's where this electric comes in. Maybe you do everything prescription and you need to change rates. You've got to have hydraulic. Maybe you just want something basic and uh, you are running more flow on your 16 row Kinsey 3600 than what this electric can put out. You're a John Blue kind of guy. So those are the pros and cons and the differences between all these pumps. We sell and service and install all of them. Give us a call today. We can talk through your planter fertilizer job and we'd be happy to help. So that's what we're doing today. Talking which pump fits you on your planter. And thanks for tuning in.